today uh, I received an email from a friend who had a question as far as FreeBSD. You know, should you go with it? Should you not? What's the benefits? What's the downfall? You know, should I switch to the FreeBSD? You gotta you gotta examine this because to me FreeBSD I believe to be a real network got network administrator a server type you know distribution if you want to call it that uh, here, here's the thing though you can uh, you can get an argue um, you know my my buddy you know I have buddies who use FreeBSD you know got me on the FreeBSD you know Eric you know he says it can be a replacement the hard thing with FreeBSD is to really get the desktop environment going. You have to en enable Linux binaries, and you know, at the end of it, you might as just have Linux installed. Um, you know, I have I have a FreeBSD desktop machine, and it works well for what I need to do. Uh, any type of gaming, a anything like that. It, you're not going to get that with FreeBSD. Now, let, let's let's examine the situation. I currently on my on my server that I have hosting, um, which is you know right over here, that's running FreeBSD uh, 7.0, which is an RC1. You know, it, it's you know doing its job. I have a web server. I have Apache, PHP. MySQL, th those are all running and running with no issues. Um, I do have X11 installed, uh, which in turn is, you know, I have, oh, I'm drawing a blank here, Fluxbox installed, but I hardly have it running. I think mostly for, mostly I enable it for demonstration, nothing more than that. Um, it's efficient, it's fast, it does what it needs to do. Now, I don't know, let me check, I don't know if I still have it up and running. Uh, go to my server address here. Okay, I, I actually do. If you go to uh, jrock2004.dns.org forward slash php sys info, uh, in the description I will put the link in there. But if you go there, th this is one of the cool apps. I mean, it will run in, in Linux, but I get a lot of good server information from it. It's very nice and it's templatable. And what I mean by that is, you can change the way it looks. You can make it dark. You can make it clean. You can make it simple. Whatever you need, um, you know, which is a very, very nice. Um, I mean, that's more of you know server interface. You know, as far as desktop, I mean, one of the things I like getting MP3s and all that to work was extremely simple. The port system that is built into FreeBSD is phenomenal. It's phenomenal. Oh my god, I can't talk. It's just great. And you take that to the next step. I mean, you just you know search for the port on the FreeBSD page. You find it. You just change that directory. Make install clean. What I really, really like is the really nice developed programs. You'll get a configuration type screen. It's like a blue screen, and it's like, what do you want to configure with this program? Uh, with you know PHP, when I installed the you know the the add-ons, you know I could install zip, curl. You know, it's not all of it. It's not installing every single option. You know, that that's one of the nice things.
But, um, you know, again, I think as a server, FreeBSD is the way to go. Uh, again, desktop, it's not there. Now, I know there's a distribution of desktop, which is, I think it's PC, desk, uh, you know, PC FreeBSD. Um, you know, but some of the diehard FreeBSD people will argue that that's a, a cheat, a clone, you know, whatever you want to call it. It's all open source. I mean, it's not like it's illegal. So, answering my friend's email, again, I think if you're looking for basic H, you know, viewing the web, getting email, doing things, BSD can be your desktop. If you're into a lot of Java, you know, Java, Flash, you might want to move over to Linux. It's a little bit more easier to get configured and install. But again, it's all on again. Um, you know, as always, you know, live.jrock2004.net. My stream is going live usually 24 hours. Um, you know, I'm starting out. Chat's not fit, you know, chat's there, but it's not built like some others. You know, so stick around, you know, register at Ustream. You can log in with your Ustream account, you know, in, ch in the chat. You know, stick around. Let's uh, build this up. You know, I'm going to have future recordings of, you know, HTML, you know, web do web designing, Photoshop. Uh, eventually, I'm going to throw some Mac stuff in there when I get my Mac. But, well, again, thank you, and have a good day.